Everybody, welcome back to another one of my son's videos. So, uh, hi, son. So, I'm just gonna let him take it away, son. Tell us what the video is about. Daniel Poop Mini Kit. Okay, so what's this about? What, what do you get in this? It's about the, the poop. Well, that's a poo. So, what's in the poo? Um, a real poo. A real, what kind of poo? Dinosaur poo. Is that a genuine dinosaur fossil? It says that on the box. So, what does it tell us in the back? It tells us about the poo. Nice blah, 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 blah. Um, there's other ones you can get. You can get a treasure mini kit, mini kit shark mini kit, gemstone mini kit, and a fool's gold mini kit. They're pretty cool. Which one out of all of them would you have liked best? This one. This one, so... Well, if not out of this, probably the shark's tooth. The shark's tooth. So yeah. let's do a quick jump cut and I'll get this cut open for you and we'll get it all out for you. Okay. Right, so what did you get inside your box, son? So we got your little tool, you... The diggy tool, then mm. you got a brush, you could probably clean it off with. Alright, so what else did you get? The yeah, fake poo. The fake poo, the, but the real poo's inside that, we've got to dig it out. Yeah. And then there's instructions daddy's going to read. I'll have to read these. Alright, <laughs> so this tells us about the poo, so. Trace fossils are one of the things that gives paleontologists clues about dinosaurs that can't be revealed by bones alone. They're not actually parts of the fossilised animals themselves, but they give us hints about how extinct animals behaved. Perhaps the most important of these fossilised animal poop known as coprolite, I hope I pronounced that right, from the Greek word for dung and stone. Not only can coprolites tell us of what animal ate for breakfast, they might tell us what animals and plants shared the environment at a particular time. Unfortunately, it's nearly impossible to identify exactly which animal produced a specific coprolite, even coprolites found near fossilised skeleton may not be produced by that same animal. So we don't know what kind of dinosaur this is poos from, but it's definitely dinosaur poo, so we've got instructions, we know what we're doing. So we'll do a quick good jump cut and we'll get a little box ready to dig this out, okay? Okay. Right, so we've got a wee box here from an old Easter egg. We kept this for doing this specific purpose. So when you go, son, you can start digging away. We might, we'll probably do lots of jump cuts because when I did my dinosaur dig and my diamond dig, it took forever. Really, really, anything has come off. Alright, let's do a quick jump cut and Daddy will have a shot. Right, so I've done a bit for you, I've showed you how to do it, so just scrape as hard as you can. It's, it's a lot harder to dig into than the Jurassic Park and the Dig a Diamond ones, I, I know that for a fact. But we can't risk using a screwdriver on this one, can we, son? No. So we don't want to wreck the dino poo inside. Daddy, if I can see the poo. Alright, let's see. Bring it up to the camera. Let's see. So that could be a bit of the poo there, so let's get digging. Give it a wee brush, let's see if we can see it. That's not making much of a difference. We'll get it scraping in a second. Well, you're doing well, son. You're doing well. Let's see how much you've dug out. Bring it up. Let's have a look. How, how's the poo looking? So that's definitely the poo in there, so we'll get that out. We'll keep digging, son. It's just taking a while. That's a lot of dust coming off that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of dust. I'm doing another jump cut. Right, so we've been digging for about 20 minutes now. How much progress have you made, Shows? Let's see. Well, you've done quite well getting that poo almost exposed. I don't think it's as big as it was in the picture, do you? Yeah. Right, like so do, should we do another jump cut and let you dig away? Yeah. Alright, back, back soon, folks. Right, we've been digging for half an hour, Daniel. How much progress have we made so far? Alright, so what bit's the poo? That bit? This bit. Alright, so we'll try to get that out. So we've whittled it down, we'll just try to get it out without damaging it. Mm. Alright, so we should do a jump cut and hopefully the next time we come back, uh, the poo will be out? Yes. Okay. Right, son, I think we've got the poo out. Show people what we've got, right? It's just like a wee white thing right now. Well, it's still got bits of clear on it, but the instructions did advise that we give it a clean. So that is why I've brought a glass of water, my Ghostbusters glass. So we're doing a jump cut and we'll show you the finished product. Pop it in. Back soon. Right, so that's the poo being cleaned. Uh, we've dried it out and we've cleaned it as best as we can. So show us, son, tell us what we think about it. So it's just like a brown rock thingy. 
Okay, it looks like a fake poo again, but it's not supposed to be. It's hard. So it's a real fossil, this? Yeah. Are you going to keep this? Yes. How many people do you know that's got a real dinosaur poo? Um, maybe, I don't know, my, one of my friends at school said he was going to get one, but I don't know if he's got one yet. That's quite cool, so. Yeah, so the little white bits that you can see is the bits of clay that we weren't able to clean out. But yeah, we've got a little bit of dinosaur poo. So where are you going to keep this in? Um, next to my dinosaur skeleton. That sounds like a good place. So what did you think of this dino poop kit? I thought it was really good. Really good? Was it worth the money? Was it a good present? Yeah. You get anything you want to say before we go? Um, bye. Okay, well once again people thanks for watching the video, like the video if you liked it, share with your pals if they think they might be interested, subscribe if you've not already subscribed and always, always what? don't forget to have a gidgen. Have a gidgen. Bye.